What is up you guys, Gold Pony here today in the 2018 Chevy Tahoe, courtesy of Sutliff Chevrolet in Harrisburg, PA. And so as always you guys, let's start with pricing. And so to start, there are a few different trim levels available for the 2018 Tahoe. First one is going to be the LS, that is gonna start at $48,745. Then there is going to be the LT for $53,875. And lastly, the Premier, that is the one I am in today, that is gonna start at $63,000. $3,425. By the way, all that pricing was for the rear wheel drive version. If you wanted to go with four wheel drive, simply add $3,000 to any of those prices. But so I will say, regardless of trim level, the power plant is going to be the same on this one. Powering the 2018 Tahoe is going to be a 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 V8 engine, putting out 355 horsepower at 5,600 RPM at 383 pound feet of torque available at 4,100 RPM. Again, power is going to be sent to the rear wheels or all four wheels through the four wheel drive system and that power is going to be sent to the ground through its six speed automatic transmission and then believe it or not despite the size of this one zero to 60 time is actually going to come in at right around seven seconds flat which is actually pretty good we'll be testing that out a little bit later of course but top speed if you were interested comes in at 111 miles per hour and mpg numbers are going to sit right around 16 in the city 22 on the highway and so just cruising down the highway here at around 35 miles per hour this is actually absorbing the bumps pretty well here it's definitely a good bit of cracks and divots in the road here we are in harrisburg pennsylvania after all but the 2018 tahoe is absorbing them pretty well so no issues with ride quality i can't tell you that much and just to elaborate a little bit more on the ride quality there for the LS and LT trim levels you're gonna get a premium smooth ride suspension but for the premier trim again the one we are in today for that one you are gonna get a magnetic ride control suspension meaning the Tahoe is gonna monitor each wheel independently adjusting the suspension every millisecond to maintain an extremely smooth ride and in addition to that also help reduce body roll as well and when it comes to the steering feel of course it's gonna be a little on the looser side it is an SUV after all so it is what I can best describe as expected but then it did what it also mentioned for a little off-road terrain this one is also pretty well equipped there is actually a locking rear differential on this one and the way that works is when the differential senses there's a difference in wheel spin it locks to turn both rear wheels in unison for better traction so that's gonna be there for you as well now it is time for my favorite part of every review of course you guys let's do a quick little acceleration and see if the 2018 Tahoe really feels like 0 to 60 in 7 seconds flat It actually does pin you in the back of your seat, believe it or not, for as large of an SUV this is. Definitely a very nice acceleration. Absolutely no issues with merging onto the highway. But when it comes to braking, I just stopped at a stop sign back there. I definitely wouldn't mind if there was a little better braking feel. You do have to press on the pedal a good bit to get this one to stop, but so wouldn't mind a little touchier feel on the brakes, at least in my opinion. And this one, of course, does come with four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes. And when it comes to visibility, honestly, it is not all that bad. And I put it that way because a lot of three-row SUVs will have very tall third-row headrests, really blinding your vision in the back through that rear window, but this one, the headrests are kind of built into the seats when they're not in use. The visibility for that reason is actually quite good for a three-row SUV. And so overall, I actually do like the way this one performs, but this one is just as good looking. So enough of the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's check out the exterior on this one. And so to start up front for the LS and LT trim levels, you are going to get a black mesh front grille. For the Premier trim, however, you are going to get a chrome front grille, and that is what you are looking at right now, of course. To the sides are our halogen headlights for the LS. LS and LT trims. Premier trim level is going to give you HID headlamps up there. And I will say just below those headlights, there are fog lights that come standard with the Premier and are optional on the LT trim level if you are interested. But then make your way to the side. All trim levels are going to give you side roof rails along with rear privacy glass as expected. Also, all trim levels are going to give you black assist steps because this one does ride quite high off the ground. So that's going to help you into this one. And there are power adjustable body colored side mirrors again for all trim levels, but you will get integrated turn signals if you go with the Premier mirror trim level. And then looking down when it comes to the wheel setup, you get 18 inch aluminum wheels for the LS and LT, 20 inch aluminum wheels if you go with the Premier. And make your way to the back, there is a rear spoiler back there with an integrated brake light for all trims along with a rear window wiper as well. And if you were curious, the rear window wiper actually hides above the mirror as opposed to a lot of three row SUVs will put the rear window wiper below that rear window. This one's actually on the top of it. So in case you were curious where that was located. <laughs> but then just below it all, there is a single exhaust outlet down there. Now, since we are 
are around back. I first did want to mention to pop that rear hatch. If you go with the Premier like I have today, there is a hands-free lift gate. So if your hands are full, just simply kick your foot under the rear bumper and that will open up automatically for you there. There is a power lift gate for the LT trim level, meaning you can just use the key fob and open that up and you could just walk away and it'll open up for you again. And for the LS trim level, you are actually going to get a manual lift gate. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 15.3 cubic feet. And if you wanted to fold that third row down, that's going to bump that cubic feetness up to 51.7 cubic feet. And with all rows folded, then you're going to come in at 94.7 cubic feet. So definitely a good bit of space there. For comparison's sake, since the number is still fresh in my head, the Hyundai Santa Fe three row SUV with all rows folded comes in at 80 cubic feet. So nearly 15 cubic feet more than that one. And then that cargo area I also did want to mention there is under floor storage for you if you needed it. And then make your way to those three rows of seating for the third row leg room that is going to come in at 24.8 inches. So for reference, I mean, even six feet tall, this is how much space I had back there. Then for the second row that is going to come in at even 39 inches of rear leg room. Again, six feet tall. This this is how much space I had. I will also say there is three zone climate control. So the rear passengers can adjust their temperatures as well back there if they wanted to. And there is rear ventilation located on the roof of this one. So all three rows of passengers, of course, will be comfortable. And for that second row, of course, you also have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats if you wanted to hook them up. And one more thing I wanted to mention in that second row, they are heated rear seats if you go with the Premier trim like I have today. But then make your way to the front seats. You are gonna get a cloth finish with the LS, a other finish is going to come with the LT and Premier, and there are power adjustable seats for every single trim level. Definitely nice there. And you are going to get heated seats in the front for the LT, and the Premier trim is going to give you heated and ventilated seats up front. But then looking forward, when it comes to the steering wheel, it is a tilt steering wheel for the LS. You will get tilt and telescoping for the LT and Premier. All trim levels are going to get a leather wrap steering wheel, and the Premier is going to give you a heated steering wheel up there as well. But now, when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your chevy logo on the one side and when you flip it over you have lock unlock and those two buttons to pop the rear hatch at the bottom there that's for how much you want the rear hatch to open of course and that center button that is going to be your remote start which believe it or not is actually going to come on every single trim level which is awesome because that is going to allow you to turn on the car before you actually get inside so when cold days like today in pennsylvania the tahoe will be nice and warm for you when you climb into it so that is always good but Anyways, it is all keyless entry though for all trims. So simply put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button. And then once started up, those gauges will do a full sweep. The tachometer is gonna be on your left, speedometer is on your right, fuel gauge is gonna be on top. And there is a small digital display on the bottom as well, which by the way, you can adjust using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel. That's gonna allow you to check out things like the speed limit of any given road, definitely nice there, as well as the digital speedometer if you wanted it. There's also your trip A and trip B as expected, as well as how many miles you have left until you hit empty which is definitely important so you don't end up on the side of the road it's also going to tell you your oil life so you know when to get your next oil change there's a tire pressure monitoring system for each individual tire and there's a couple other things you could play around with on that one as well then make your way to overall interior quality there is a 12 volt power outlet and 110 volt power outlets for all trim levels that's definitely nice and there is a wireless charging system right in the center armrest here in the front for your cell phone so you don't have any pesky wires tripping anybody up that's going to be there to charge your phone if you wanted it as well. Also, there is going to be a universal home remote, meaning the garage door opener is located on the roof for the LT and Premier trim levels. That's definitely nice. And there is a power sunroof available with the Sun Entertainment and Destinations package, which is the one I have today again. But that package is going to add an additional $2,880. But that is going to give you your power sunroof as well as a rear seat Blu ray player. That's definitely nice if you have kids, you guys know that. But one more thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the roof by the home link controls, you not only have a sunglass holder but you kind of have that school bus kind of rear view mirror as well so you can check on all the passengers in the back seat as well so that's pretty cool and that's there for you too but then make your way to the tech front and center on this one there is an eight inch color touchscreen display that's going to come with bluetooth and audio streaming as well as android auto and apple carplay for all trims meaning you get free navigation through your phone if you have a smartphone at least and that's there for you and you can also like and dislike your pandora songs up on that screen through either of those apps as well if you wanted the factory navigation system that is going to come standard on the premiere it is available on the lt trim level and i like chevy's setup to be quite honest because they do give you the weather icon as well so you can check out the five 
five day forecast if you wanted to up there. And there is also the option to check out traffic updates so you know which roads to avoid so you don't get stuck in a traffic jam. Of course, you can check out your audio information up on that eight inch display as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system on this one, the LS is gonna give you a six speaker sound system. LT is gonna give you a Bose nine speaker sound system. And the Premier trim level is gonna give you a Bose 10 speaker center point surround sound system. So of course we just happen to have the best one today. So let's turn on the radio and test out the clarity of that one. Definitely an absolute ton of bass, so definitely works very well for a large SUV like the Tahoe. At least the Bose 10 speaker sound system does, I can attest to that. And then of course, last thing I wanted to mention on that screen is when you do put the Tahoe in reverse, you do have a reverse camera letting you know who or what is behind you so you don't go running anything or anyone over, which as always is going to lead me into safety. But so then when it comes to safety, there are front side and side curtain airbags. Again, in the back, there is the latch system for the rear car seats. Also, there are rear child door locks back there as well. There's also that tire pressure monitoring system, as I had previously said, also a teen driver mode, meaning if you let your teen driver drive the Tahoe and you turn that mode on, that is going to prevent them from turning off any of the safety features to do any joy riding off road or anything like that. And if you're thinking, well, they can just turn that teen driver mode off. Yes, but the Tahoe will actually let you know that. So you know what they did. Also standard is the stable track stability control system and the LT trim level is going to add forward collision alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning low speed forward automatic braking and there's also going to be a safety alert driver seat with that one so when you're about to hit somebody the driver seat is going to rumble for you so it kind of notifies you to put on your brakes so you don't go hitting anybody but of course you have the low speed forward automatic braking anyway so you're not going to hit that person so there you go and then the premier trim level is also going to add a couple more things including front and rear park assist lane change alert with side blind zone alert and rear cross traffic alert and so but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe if you Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold <laughs>